All right, so to do this one, um, the main important thing, guys, if you, you can remember, you can do this two different ways. We could do it the FOIL method, or we can also do it kind of the square box method. I kind of prefer sometimes, especially when I'm getting a little bit tricky, what we can look at is if I have a binomial, we can write the binomial on one side of a square or a rectangle, and we can write the other binomial on the other side. And the reason why I sometimes prefer this method is because it allows me to just kind of organize everything. We can still do the FOIL technique, which I'll show you in a second. But this technique, the reason why it helps us is because, remember, when we multiply something, what we're doing is we're really finding the area of a figure. So if I put one binomial here and another binomial here, what I'm going to do for each box is just find the area. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i. 4 times i is 4i. And then from our last example, negative 5 times i squared is a positive 5, right? Because i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Now, what you notice is you can combine your diagonal boxes. And that's why I kind of just prefer this method. It just helps us organize things. So we need to make sure we write it in a plus bi, because that's complex form. So 16 plus 5 is? 21, 4i minus 20 is negative 16i. And there's my final answer. If you guys are going to do this, the FOIL technique, it's first outer inner last. So then what you do is you just kind of write, spell out FOIL, and then you just take, well, first is 4 times 4, outer is 4 times i. Inner is negative 5i times 4. And last is negative 5i times i. And what you guys notice is this is going to give us the same values that were in my box. Right? It gives me the same values that I did in here. And the same thing. You're just going to combine your like terms and then simplify. The main important thing, guys, is if you remember, we wrote down the definition of a complex number. It has to be in the form of a plus bi. So please make sure you write your answer like that. Yes? What, which one? You're looking at? Negative 5i times i? So negative 5i times i is negative 5 times i squared. Remember, i squared is negative 1. Make sense? OK. Do you guys still want me to go through 